okay we're back to our project and remember always save your work as you're going so you can come back or if something unexpected happen you can easily recover your work okay the lighting actually it will be very important in the scenery okay we'll go to adjust take our sun and i want to create dramatic look so i will take our sun put it right here behind okay and we'll maybe readjust a bit up and down depend also you know what let's do this way i'm going to switch to user define and i'm going to actually make it wider kind of make a more panoramic look give it some more valley valley kind of look okay, so we'll just readjust okay there you go so with the sun problem is when we position right on the back we need to work a little bit more with lighting because if we look we lose all of these details so what do let's go first to atmosphere editor and right here in lighting first i want to use the global adjust for this okay we'll pop up a little bit more to the light to the sunlight and add kind of um, a little bit redness kind of darker to this let's go to ambient light kind of desaturated darker blue so you can see it's add bluish effect to this okay we'll come back to the clouds we'll work on this right here let's take our sky and make saturated just add saturation to the color decay um let's bring decay overall let me leave it down see i want to bring kind of cyan colors to the edges right here it's what we'll try to do with this okay as well we can leave it bring down here the fog i want to increase level so we'll for now we'll just set about 57 maybe let's bring glowing up so we'll go bring this and you can see the glow it's bring nice effect to us and just reduce how far glowing is spread so right here we have our hot spot for creating okay as well we'll take aerial perspective and you can see with the aerial perspective now we start having distinguished kind of on the edges for our mountains Okay, now let's take a fog, maybe bring slightly down, and this kind of tweaking playing, so we have it, some adjustments going on. Okay, and we can work a little bit on a cloud, so I'm going to add that camels to this. Uh, see if I can bring them even more down. Maybe about 75. Yeah, just so it's touched slightly right here. A little bit less on the cover, and right here I want increase density, so I want actually quite be dense. And I'm going to type because you can go to 100%, but you, if you type inside, you can have it even more opacity. So it's what I'm going to do. As well, I will bring a lot of details to them because they will be on the back, and they will just give me a nice effect, kind of covering right there. Just ambient light. Okay, let's go ahead, preview. You can see we have a very nice um, coming effect right here. Okay, let's bring some lights. So I want to add a little bit more cyan to the side. So I'm going to the sun. Try to bring around, see. How about this one, middle 36, I think that was good. And maybe pop up just slightly on the peach, so just a little bit more on the cyan here. Let's go take down the size of the sun 
and just play a little bit with Corona. See, we need to bring in and out. Okay, let's me take sun this point and try to just reposition. See, we can have this warm, but same time color. So I'm. Right here, let's go to atmosphere and also other ways we can increase it's by working with the haze. So if we add darker, you can see right here we kind of start adding darker areas. So the other ways we can do this. Okay. The one night one thing you notice sometimes with lighting it's hard to control. What I find in many cases, it's actually because you have after exposure enabled. So let's disable and you can see how much it's different now. So in this case, when we start, see it's updating and it's much darker So than original. This way, it's kind of a little bit better helping you to see correct. So be sure you disable in some case to receive a correct kind of lights almost okay I kind of don't like right this area let me preview closer bring some I like the clouds this layering going okay however we don't have much details right up front in this case we can fix it with bring a light source bring it up medium and pop up lights it doesn't add too much but it's add a little bit enough ambient light so we can pick up some details right around this area okay how I say right here this one I little bit don't like how it looks so I'm going to take the clouds and I'm going to just move them slightly so this area is covered. Yep, that look better. So we don't have distractions. Okay. Okay. The other things what I actually want to do it is work a little bit on the sun. We'll go to edit shadow, and we use a shadow map that will add quite a bit softness to the um, sun to the shadows point, so we can pop up a little bit more on a lighting as well okay let's go to light and just pop up this one a bit higher um, normally I do not recommend when you're using some plants to do soft shadows it will increase um, quite a bit render time but if you just have a terrains it's work very well preview okay, yeah we have a nice lighting going okay let me go to and this again this kind of tweaking you um, often happen so you can adjust overall glowing see how it will go up and down see which one will affect a bit better also we can pop up on a fog so it's add glowing effect as well around and I'm an idiot probably was good yeah I got that right we can bring fog slightly higher so we cover area right here I think this is about right maybe not a bit too low let's bring reddish kind of higher again this is all tweaking kind of adjusting we'll set this way okay just look on a sunlight and ambient light okay, let me bring a bit higher preview this way let's give it a nice cold view and if we're going to a bit lower get a little bit more reddish one so 
I'll just keep it this way. Let's preview one more time. Okay, I think this is a good um, beginning for this. So what I'm going to do right now, it is render on a higher quality. And I'm going to actually render this maybe about 2000 because, oops, actually I want to do this. I want to lock it, 2000 resolution. Super render right here, and there you go. Let's render. So I'm going to pause this tutorial to render is completed and come back and post process after render is done.